right about the elevator. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to wait till E3. Really watch Sony and, and Xbox one carefully. And uh, if I do decide to get a new console for the next generation, uh, you know, possibly I will. But again, you know, the startup costs for a new, you know, console generation, especially this one, because the price points now are going to be around $500 or so, it's rumored. You know, you want to get that and three games, maybe an extra controller, and maybe another accessory or two. I mean, you're looking at like an $800 startup cost, so, to, to get to this latest generation. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready or willing to do that when I have so many games I still gotta play on this backlog, which I really want to do, you know, because Jesus, man, I spent all this money on these games that I haven't had time to play for this generation, and uh, you know, what am I gonna do? Not play them? So I'm just thinking, you know, maybe it would be a wiser decision for me to wait. Because as we all know, and I've talked about this in other videos, the prices of the games go down inevitably. And it's it's at the point now with this generation of consoles, the 360s and the PS3s, that a $60 game out here in the US, where I live in uh, New York State, Albany, New York, 8% sales tax, it makes a new game 65 bucks uh, you don't know how many times within three weeks sometimes within three weeks a game will go on sale for 40 bucks so if, you know a third less uh, sometimes even lower I've seen some games like uh, Darkness 2 that have gone on sale within months down to half price of what they originally came out as uh, and if you're willing to wait even a little bit longer, uh, if you're willing to wait a little bit longer, it's, it's even more drastic. You know, if you're willing to wait like three or four months, you know, get that instant gratification out of your blood, combines, you know, sales with coupons. I mean, you could score games for like two thirds the price. I mean, you could find games for 20 bucks that were brand new like four or five months ago. So. I don't know. I guess I'm just, you know, I'm older now. I don't really need that instant gratification like I used to with games. Um, there's been very few games this generation that I've actually bought at launch. Uh, there's been a few, you know, like Rockstar games. Uh, you know, I bought L.A. Noir, which, which I was very disappointed with. I thought that was one of the most overhyped games ever. Um, I was just very, very disappointed with that game. I thought it was like an unfinished. It felt like an unfinished game to me. Um, I bought Red Dead Redemption at launch, uh, Dead Space 3, a couple of the Mass Effects I bought. You know, most of the games I did not buy at launch, I'll put it that way. Um, it's, just, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's automatically going to go down in price. And I don't know. There's so many new games now for this console that are pretty affordable that uh, I don't know, man. I just I don't see the point. I don't see the point in rushing into this next generation. And it's funny for me to even say that when you consider uh, uh, you stole my execution. Come on, It's funny for you to for me to even say no, that considering that the 360 came out now well, in 05 so it's yeah if that's a maintenance bag we probably got seven years into its life cycle but man the more and more i learn about these consoles man it's just it's just you know it's just not looking that appealing to me ah maybe i'm getting old i don't know you know in my day i I, mean, I don't know, you know? And I like innovation, you know? I like it when things 
games try to push things for the limit. For instance, uh, the 3D gaming. I was, I, you know, I really liked 3D gaming. Uh, I got the uh, little Sony 3D display for a really good price. Um, and I played a bunch of uh, games. Oh, shit. And I played a bunch of games in 3D. Uh, I played, like, Uncharted in 3D, Resistance 3. Uh, I played... Um, Killzone 3, Sly Cooper 3D, uh, God, of, God of War remakes 3D. So I actually was one of the few gamers that uh, really enjoyed the 3D stuff that Sony was doing. Now it turns out from what I hear that they're not going to even really be messing around with that with the PS4. They're not focusing on that at all. So. I don't even want to get started on Sony now, because, fuck. I mean, you could talk about the move, the PlayStation Move, and what a disaster that was. I mean, you talk about probably the most disappointing uh, iteration of, you know, motion control gaming. And it's got to be the PlayStation Move. I mean, that game, fucking Sorcery, came out, and it didn't sell anything. And that was supposed to be their flagship, uh, their flagship uh, motion control game. And I heard it was awful. Everything I heard about that game is you just endlessly flicking that fucking move wand, or what, I don't even remember what it was called. Uh, endlessly, just back and forth, you know, Exorcist. Power of Christ compels you. Power of Christ compels you. And it was just, I mean, come on, you know? Just freaking ridiculous. Let me see here. Get these motherfuckers. Love this pistol. sweet but anyway I don't know I'm just I'm just going off on a tangent tonight you know really really just at my wits end with this whole new console business stuff I just think I'm gonna just sit it out man I think that would probably be the smartest move just sit it out, please. Hey, that looks like it. Dizzy, I think we got it. All right, we got the rotor. Marcus, I have this Philly running smoke. I gotta pick it up with this thing. All quiet on your end. All right, we'll see what we got to do here. Okay, let's grab it with the loader. Me and the loader, bitch. All right, well, come on, isn't this the loader? How come I'm not able to get in there? It's over here. All right, let me in. Look, there's no button prompt to get in here. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Oh, man, come on. Why, why is it not working? Stupid. 
Alright guys, I'll be back. I gotta figure out what the fuck's going on here.